Hi, this is Jeff Davidson and I will be doing a screencast on how to transfer music from an iPod to a computer. Generally, if you try to take your iPod and connect it to somebody else's computer, iTunes will not allow you to drag your music from your library into that computer's library. Uh, the same is true if you take somebody else's iPod and connect it to your computer. But by changing the settings in iTunes and uh, on your computer, you can get around this. So first, we're going to bring up iTunes. Make sure you have your iPod plugged in. Here you can see I have my wife's iPod uh, connected. And we are going to change some of the settings here. So what we want to do is go to Edit, Preferences, and find the Advanced tab which is located right here. Under advanced there should be two things that you want to make sure are checked that are probably not checked unless you've already done so. Keep iTunes media folder organized. This will help to label and uh, name your music and copy files to iTunes media folder when adding to library. This allows the transfer to happen. So once we have these boxes checked we are going to click OK and at this point we can minimize iTunes. Next we're going to change some of our computer settings. So we want to go to Start, Computer or My Computer, and find the drive that has your iPod and double click that. Now you'll see a series of folders come up and you can see here uh, a shaded folder. This is a hidden folder called iPod Control. This is probably not showing up on your screen. All right, what you want to do is just hit the Alt button and at the top here go to Tools and go to Folder Options. Once you're in Folder Options, click the View button and if you look down under Advanced Settings, you'll see a section that says Hidden Files and Folders. Now you probably have checked do not show hidden files and folders which is why the iPod control is not showing up. You want to change that to show hidden files and folders. Once you've clicked that hit apply and hit OK and you should have the iPod control on your screen. All right. Double click that and you'll see a music folder. Double click that and you will find a series of folders that contains your music. Now every one of these folders will not have music in them. Uh, for me, I have about two or three folders that contain music. If you're not quite sure, just double click and you'll see that this folder is empty. And my F001 folder has some music in it. Now if you'll see here, the music does not show up as labeled correctly. Uh, when you transfer it into iTunes, iTunes will make that adjustment for you. All right? So we're going to go back to the music folders and I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to bring back up uh, iTunes. This is what it will look like once you've transferred all your files. And I'm going to bring the music back up. And what I want to do here, the easiest way I find to do this is just to grab the folder and drag it into the music and drop it and this way it will download all your music for you. If you do not want the entire folder uh, downloaded you can just click in the folder and you can drag over individual songs and drop them into the uh, music library as well. Uh, either way you can get pretty much anybody's iPod that you want and pick and choose music from their iPod and drag it into your library uh, and form your own collection of music. This is how to transfer iTunes or iPod music from your iTunes into somebody else's library. Jeff Davidson, signing out.